What inspires my research are the grand challenges, environmental challenges, health challenges, toxicity issues, and basically running out of oil. What even makes a greater challenge is, can we solve some of these simultaneously? And the potential to do that actually exists. Our research group focuses on the development of new materials and plastics and composites that are environmentally friendly. These are materials that are derived from renewable resources. They have very low toxicity, unlike a lot of our petroleum-based materials, and are sustainable in that these materials literally grow on trees or they grow in the field. We're constantly looking to see how these materials can, in unique way, be used in ways that, were, that they never had in, in the past. For example, chicken feathers can act as a feedstock for quite a number of materials, such as shoes, apparel, hydrogen storage systems. They can act as feedstock for composite materials that could be used in hurricane-resistant housing, disaster relief housing that are unique to the composite uh, world. In one of our experiments with woven natural fibers, we discovered that the composite material was quite breathable and that they could be used as a substitute for leather, which we knew was a very highly polluting fuel. Our eco-leather materials are also a new material that the fashion industry is responding to in a very enthusiastic way. Everything here that you see in red is basically our eco-leather. Uh, made from materials such as this. And uh, then everything that's in white here is your traditional thermoplastic polyurethane, which is the type of uh, toxic material we've talked about. So we are currently uh, replacing the polyurethane part as well. It's quite a collective process, but you need to bring your imagination in to be able to take the next step and, and think of new directions that no one else has explored.